Well, it's Thursday afternoon and I thought I'd um, just have a little walk around. I've been to the post office and sent off lots of orders for beads. And now I thought I'd have a little look around one of the little local woods. See what we can find. And as you can see, the snowdrops... The snowdrops are all coming out. Look, there we go. See them in the trees there? Lovely big patches of snowdrops all starting to flower. If you remember last time we was here last week, we, uh, we saw that there was lots of snowdrops in bud. And now they're all uh, nicely coming out. So, we're going to have a look around, see what we can find. See if we can find some more... Uh, Elf Cups, I think you know by now they're one of my favourites, just love spotting them. So let's go and see what we can find. I see the uh, the jelly ears or the wood ears are all back. There we go, nice and plump and rubbery after the storms we've had. We've had those uh, two storms, we had one on Sunday night into Monday morning. Uh, quite a bad one and then another bad one on Tuesday night into Wednesday morning and that was a, a proper storm but with that and the rain that they brought with them the jelly ears are back feeling nice and soft and rubbery there we go do you remember on the last video I showed you how they was uh, all dried up well that just shows you how different a bit of rain can make them. So now you know why. When they're dry, if you put them into stews and casseroles and soups, it doesn't take long and they're back to normal. So there you go. Let's carry on and see what else we can find. Here we can see the velvet shanks at the bottom of this stump. They're getting quite big now. Maybe if we pick one, we might be able to see those black stems. There we go. See those lovely dark stems? A good sign that they're uh, velvet shanks and not the funeral bells. The funeral bells around about there on the stem would have a little skirt. A bit like the skirt you find on the... Uh, Flyer Garricks and other Garricks. There we go. Can you see that nicely? So there's a nice velvet shank. An edible. But as in with all other edibles, you must be a hundred percent certain you know what you've got before you eat anything. And when you do, you cook everything, just to make sure. So there we go, nice velvet shank. Bit uh, slimy on the cap where we've had some rain. But uh, nice little clump there. But I shall leave them. I don't need them, so we'll keep them here and let them get bigger. Let's move on and see what else we can find. Here. I'm pleased to announce a new pair of Scarlet Elf Cups. Aren't they lovely? There they are, growing in this moss. A lovely little pair. I'm looking round as I'm filming them for you. I'm just having a little look round to see if there's any more about. I'm following that piece of wood down that they're on. But I can't see any more at the moment. But uh, aren't they lovely? There you go. First two of the day. Hopefully we'll find some more. But they're lovely and fresh. They're about as big as your uh, thumbnail. I would say now. If I put my thumb up to... Or my finger up to them, look. Let's try and get some of that moss out of the way. There you go. You can see how big they are. Aren't they lovely? 
and right inside look that beautiful scarlet color in the center you can just imagine the little elves drinking the fresh rainwater out of them can't you there we go great find to start so let's see if we can find some more as pleased as punch i am now i'm pretty sure we know what's on the back of this old rotten piece of bramble. Right, there. There we go. Some oysterlings. And they're growing on a piece of bramble. Look at that. An old piece of rotten, soggy wet bramble and it's got oysterlings growing on it and there's the other end of it, look. Would you believe it? I've not seen oysterlings growing on brambles before, but I, I guess they do now. We learn everything every day. Well, the uh, original ones that we found two weeks ago, look how big they've got. If I put my finger beside them, you'll see they've really got big now. There's two good ones there. That one's been knocked and smashed about. But that's another good one there. So if we follow the stick up like we did before, let's see if there's uh, any of those small ones have started getting bigger as well. No, it looks exactly the same. There's the two that were hiding behind the moss. That little one's no bigger. That one there's a little bit bigger. But no real change, there's nothing further up. So uh, we're going to move on and see if we can find some more new ones. And I'll leave you with those. Aren't they lovely? I've just spotted some nice which is butter and I'm pretty sure if we turn it over it looks like there's quite a big bit on the back there we go lovely witch's butter just like jelly there we go looks like lemon jelly lovely witch's butter yellow brain fungus I think it's a proper name there we go another nice find this afternoon so let's carry on here we got one of the curtain brackets a lot of people get these brackets mixed up with turkey tail but uh, most of us know now that if we uh, break a bit off and turn it upside down the turkey tail is white underneath but these uh, curtain brackets, I think it's a curtain bracket. There's all different colours. But uh, they're not white underneath. So that's how I, that's what I usually go by anyway. So let's carry on and see what else there is laying about. Now I'm pretty sure that this is turkey tail that we got here. So let me just have a closer look. It looks like turkey tail. If we can break one off, we'll see if the underneath's white or whether it's coloured. I can't break one off actually, a bit too stubborn. There's one. Right, so let's have a look. If the underneath is white, there. That's turkey tail. So that's the difference between those uh, curtain brackets that we just saw and the turkey tail. One of them is nice and white or off-white underneath and that's the turkey tail. So here it's growing on this trunk, quite pretty patterns as you can see. Some more down there, look, if we look inside where this trunk split. And here we've got a little, a little ladybird. She's taking refuge for the uh, winter. She's just keeping out of the wind and the rain and I guess me being here has moved her. 
So let's carry on and see what else we've got. I'm going to head back to the car now. So it's uh, getting late and I've got to clean some beads ready to list in the Etsy shop tonight. So I'm going to start heading back. If I find anything else, you'll be the first to see it. Well, that's the end of this afternoon's walk. Had a good walk round. We found those new elf cups and we found the old ones, which are absolutely enormous now. A few other bits and pieces, regular, regulars that we find, some witch's butter. There's uh, a few little odds and ends around still, hanging around. And I've took some photos of some of the little tiny brown mushrooms, as I call them, which are a job to, uh, to really sort of research, because there's so many of them. But I'll put some photos in if I uh, remember. So uh, thank you everybody for coming with me on this afternoon trip. It's only been a short one, but for midwinter it's quite good just to get out and find a few bits and pieces. Roll on spring, won't be long, another eight weeks or so and we'll be finding different fungi. The winter fungi will be going, the spring fungi will be coming out. So thank you everybody for staying till the end. Please feel free to like and subscribe. Even the likes help the channel. It's uh, lovely if you can subscribe. It doesn't cost anything, but it'll help us build the channel up. So thank you everybody. And thanks to all those who already have liked and subscribed and have been uh, sharing the videos with their friends. It's really nice of you. Thank you for that. So everybody have a good day. Get out there this week. Tomorrow's going to be a nice day. Tomorrow, Friday, is going to be a lovely day, sunny day. The uh, storms hopefully now are behind us for a while. Them two storms in, what, four or five days. So let's get out there. And when we do, don't forget, keep your eyes open.